Tonight we begin with a story that feels ripped from a blockbuster film, a tale of hidden riches, global intrigue, and the power that lies beneath our feet. Imagine a low, pulsing beat, a sound that resonates from deep within the Earth's crust. It's not just a metaphor, but a real vibration, an echo of something extraordinary stirring below the surface. This is the sound of a discovery that is reshaping global power and setting the stage for a new kind of conflict, one that will play out not just in boardrooms and parliaments, but in the very soil of a nation. This sound is emanating from the Philippines, an archipelago nation long known for its stunning beaches, vibrant culture, and resilient people. But beneath the surface, a multi-billion dollar secret has been revealed, one that could change the fate of the country and the world. The islands are sitting on a treasure trove of rare earth elements, the foundational materials of our modern world, hidden for millennia in the rocks and soil. These elements power everything from smartphones and electric vehicles to advanced defense systems and renewable energy technologies. The world is listening intently to this new rhythm, as governments and corporations scramble to secure their share of these vital resources. The Philippines has suddenly been thrust onto the center stage of this global drama, its name echoing in headlines and diplomatic circles. Its untapped mineral wealth offers a potential lifeline to Western nations desperate to break their dependency on China, and to diversify their supply chains for the technologies of tomorrow. This is more than just a report on mining or geology. It's a look at the building blocks of our future, the scramble to control them, and the high-stakes game that is unfolding right now. Join us as we uncover the Philippines' billion-dollar secret and explore how this discovery could reshape the destiny of nations. To understand why the Philippines has become the world's new mineral hotspot, we must travel back millions of years. In 2023, geologists discovered the remnants of a vast, lost tectonic plate named Pontus beneath Palawan and the South China Sea. The subduction of Pontus generated immense heat and pressure, concentrating rare and valuable metals into rich deposits. This unique geological setting is why the islands are so rich in nickel, copper, gold, and most critically, rare earth elements. The Philippines is now one of the world's top nickel producers, with rare earths often found alongside these deposits. Experts estimate that 95% of the Philippines' mineral reserves remain unexplored and untapped. The discovery of Pontus provides a scientific roadmap for explorers, pointing them toward the most promising locations for critical minerals. The Earth's ancient, violent past has bestowed upon the Philippines a geological lottery ticket of immense value. The story of the Philippines' mineral wealth is also the story of its people. Archaeological findings show that modern humans navigated to islands like Mindoro over 35,000 years ago, demonstrating advanced seafaring skills. Evidence of ancient offshore fishing and long-distance trade in tools reveals a deep history of innovation and resource management. The Philippines has always been a hub of technological and cultural exchange. This legacy of resilience and ingenuity is a powerful metaphor for the nation's current journey, navigating global geopolitics and managing newfound wealth. The challenge now is to ensure this modern resource boom benefits the entire nation, echoing the prosperity of its ancient trade networks. Fast forward to 2025, and the Philippines is at the epicenter of a modern gold rush, not just for gold, but for 17 rare earth elements. An estimated 95% of the country's reserves lie untouched, attracting the world's superpowers. The US and its allies are racing to secure new sources, while the Philippine government works to create a favorable environment for responsible mining. The nation must balance economic prosperity with environmental protection and ensure local communities benefit. Resource nationalism is shaping policies, and the situation is evolving rapidly. International corporations and governments are scrambling for a foothold. For the Philippines, this is a generational opportunity to transform its economy, but it comes with immense pressure. The decisions made now will determine whether this mineral bounty becomes a blessing or a curse. The discovery of rare earth riches in the Philippines is unfolding against a fractured global landscape, one where the competition for resources is intensifying and alliances are constantly shifting. As the world races toward a future powered by advanced technologies, the demand for critical minerals has never been greater. This has sparked what many are calling a minerals cold war. At the heart of this conflict is the escalating rivalry between the US and China each seeking to secure technological and military dominance for the decades ahead. China currently controls over 90% of the global supply of processed rare earth magnets, 
wielding enormous leverage over industries worldwide. This dominance gives Beijing a powerful tool to influence global markets and political decisions. In early 2025, China restricted rare earth exports to the U.S. by 52 percent, causing production halts in key sectors and exposing just how vulnerable Western economies are to supply disruptions. In response, the Philippines has emerged as a linchpin in global efforts to build a non-Chinese supply chain, offering new hope for diversification and resilience. Europe, Japan and South Korea are also racing to secure alternative sources, investing in new partnerships and technologies, while other nations like Brazil play both sides, leveraging their resources for maximum advantage. The fight for rare earths is waged on multiple fronts, economic, diplomatic and increasingly in cyberspace, where cyber attacks threaten to disrupt supply chains and steal valuable data. Australia, a major mineral exporter, reports losing billions annually to mineral sector espionage, with China, Russia and Iran identified as primary actors in these covert operations. As Australian intelligence chief Mike Burgess stated, the theft of critical mineral technologies is tantamount to the theft of national security assets, threatening not just economies but the very sovereignty of nations. In this high-stakes contest, the battle for control over critical minerals is shaping the future of global power, and the stakes have never been higher. In response to China's dominance in the global rare earth market, the U.S. has launched a two-fold strategy, rebuild domestic capacity and reduce reliance on foreign sources for critical minerals. At the same time, Washington is forging new alliances with resource-rich partners, aiming to create a more resilient and secure supply chain for the future. The Philippines has emerged as a cornerstone of this effort, offering not only vast geological potential, but also a strong geopolitical alignment with American interests in the Indo-Pacific. The U.S. is investing heavily in its own rare earths industry, from mining to advanced processing, to ensure a stable domestic supply and reduce vulnerabilities. Major corporate deals are being secured to strengthen non-Chinese tech ecosystems, supporting innovation and job creation across the sector. The renewed U.S.-Philippines alliance now extends beyond military cooperation, encompassing economic and resource security as a central pillar of their partnership. American companies are being encouraged to invest in Philippine mining, bringing in capital, expertise and new technologies to unlock the country's mineral wealth. Technical assistance is also being provided to ensure that extraction is both efficient and sustainable, with a focus on minimizing environmental impact and supporting local communities. However, the U.S. also employs protectionist measures to shield its industries, such as a recent 50% tariff on imported copper products, which has sent ripples through global markets and created new volatility. The Philippines must carefully navigate these shifting U.S. policies, balancing opportunities with the risks of sudden regulatory changes. By adapting quickly, Manila can capitalize on its new strategic importance and attract more investment to fuel economic growth. The balance between protecting domestic industries and opening up to global trade is delicate, requiring careful policy decisions and ongoing dialogue. For Manila, the challenge is to ensure that its mineral wealth is not just extracted, but transformed into lasting prosperity for its people. This means investing in infrastructure, education and technology to create value-added industries and sustainable development. Only then can the benefits of mining translate into long-term national progress, reaching communities across the country. The world is watching as the U.S. and the Philippines redefine their partnership, setting the stage for a new era of cooperation and shared prosperity. While the U.S. builds alliances, China leverages its market dominance to secure its strategic position. Recent export cuts to the U.S. were a calculated move to disrupt Western industries and send a clear message. Simultaneously, China rewards partners by increasing exports to Europe and Asia, dividing Western unity. China is also investing heavily in foreign mining projects, especially in South America and Africa. Brazil's rare earth exports to China have tripled, fueled by Chinese investment. This strategy allows Beijing to control resources at both the supply and processing ends. The Philippines faces immense pressure to balance economic benefits with independence. China will use its influence to persuade Manila to limit cooperation with the U.S. The challenge maximize benefits without becoming a pawn in a global power struggle. To grasp the magnitude of this story, we turn to the experts. Susanna van de Lagemont, the geologist who uncovered the Pontus Plate, calls it a foundation for a new economic reality. Security officials warn that the battle is not just for resources, 
but for the intellectual property and processing techniques that add value. For the Philippines, protecting geological data and know-how is as important as securing the mines. Market analysts highlight the volatility created by China's supply manipulations. The potential for wealth is enormous, but so are the risks of instability and economic crossfire. The Philippines must provide stability to attract long-term investment. The consensus, the nation sits on a world-changing resource but realizing its benefits will require skill and foresight. We end where we began, with the sound of a new song rising from the Philippine archipelago. The discovery of vast rare earth reserves has placed the Philippines at a historic crossroads. The nation holds a key to a more secure technological future for the world and its own economic transformation. The path forward is lined with challenges, navigating a minerals cold war, guarding against espionage, and ensuring wealth benefits all citizens. Building robust institutions and enforcing strong regulations will be crucial. This is about more than minerals. It's about a nation's journey to define its future. The decisions made today will determine whether this secret becomes a force for sustainable development or conflict. The world is watching, hoping for a responsible and stable new source of critical minerals. The Earth has given the Philippines a remarkable gift. Now, the vital work of harnessing it for the good of all begins.